Hello! So, it is that time of year again. My university term officially starts in two days, so I am desperately doing preparations and setting up my class notes and thinking a lot about university and I thought it could be cool to talk about this online if any of you are also preparing to go back to uni. Honestly, do I feel ready to go back to university? No. <laughs> Does the thought of assignments fill me with joy and motivation? Genuinely no. <laughs> I don't feel like the Christmas break was long enough. I am still feeling burnt out from the stress of last term. But hey ho, here we are, even with the heaviness of last year, a new term begins. My first tip, which kind of predictable for me, is to use some kind of productivity system and set it up. This can be where you put your class notes, for example, in a ring binder folder or a notebook. Or like me, I use Notion. I absolutely love it. I find it has transformed the way that I'm able to take notes and easily categorize them. This video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. And if you're familiar with Skillshare, they are just one of the best platforms for learning. Learning for fun, learning to improve the productivity systems of your life, learning how to be more creative, pick up new skills. Skillshare have a premium membership where you get access to thousands of amazing videos. You can connect with like-minded creative people who also have goals around learning. The reason I think it's so relevant here is because there are so many different productivity tools. Notion works for me, but it might not be the best one for you. And on Skillshare, they have videos about using Trello, using Todoist, different systems of productivity. For example, here's an amazing course I took by Thomas Frank on his productivity systems. About a year ago, I watched this amazing one on using Todoist and I tried it out for a bit. Personally for me now, Notion works better, but it just depends on you. So yeah, if you're looking for a productivity system, Skillshare is an amazing place to just see what's on offer, to learn from other people and get productive, I guess. The first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get Skillshare Premium trial for free. Tip number two, and this is really important not to skip, is to reflect on the last term. This is really important because especially when you're going back to university, like you've done it before, you've experienced it, you know what your course is like, you know what your professors were like. If you had to adapt to the style of online learning, You've now done it for a bit. So take a moment to reflect. What went well? What was really rubbish? What can you do better? How can you manage your time better? How can you implement better habits? Also, perhaps one of the biggest questions is, did you look after yourself? Because for me, especially the, towards the end of term, no, I did not look after myself sufficiently. For me, there was a lot of work towards the end of term, but I let a lot of my core habits slip, the habits which keep me happy and healthy and should be my priority no matter what. And so knowing how stressful the end of semester got, just thinking, how can I prepare for that worst case scenario in this semester through having really robust routines, really robust habits. And so post reflection, my biggest tip here is to list out your priorities for this term. My priorities are in line with my new year's resolutions, my goals for this year. And for me, it is a nice mixture of health, personal well-being, social life and the people I really care about. And then also this academics element and side projects. At the end of the day, you only have so much time and being aware of how you want to prioritize will make things less stressful. Because for example, say you hit a day where you've just, you just don't feel like you've done well in classes. Maybe you've not done as much work as you would have liked to. That might be absolutely okay because if you return to your priority list, your top priority might be mental health. If you choose to go to sleep or do some mindfulness that day, does it matter that the schoolwork didn't perform as well that day as you taking care of yourself? No, because you have told yourself that the priority for that term is your mind. So yeah, just what are your priorities moving into this next term and how can you implement that? Put them on a post-it note, put them somewhere you can see every day, put them into your habit tracker, your notion, whatever you use. Tip number three, naturally we're going back into the academic world, we're going back into learning. So for me, I've just spent the last few days going over last semester's notes, looking at concepts I struggled with, I've gone over my flashcard sets for spaced repetition. And then for me, I get set a lot of pre-readings. So I have been reading this book, that I need to read. I'm reading a bunch of articles. I also have to answer some question prompts. So yeah, if you have a lot of university work to do and you know that it's gonna take you more than a night of cramming the day before uni, I recommend just kind of lying it all out, 
being like, cool, I need to get this done. Look at how much time you've got left and then section it into the days so that it feels less overwhelming. I prefer little and often when it comes to university work. It's nice to have this feeling of learning consistently and without stress, because then it's just more fun. I'm also kind of nervous this semester because I am taking an elective course in something I am intentionally weak in. My university is based on the American liberal arts model, which is really cool because it means you can take a few courses throughout your degree, which aren't part of your major or minor, but you still get course credits for. So you can kind of just take courses for fun, just a few. I am pretty bad at politics. I never really grew up talking about politics. I think I struggle to form really good opinions and good arguments about things. I've never studied theories of governance or political science to any depth. And it kind of scares me to do so, which is why I'm like, let's do it. That's where I'm gonna get the most learning and growth from in a way that I think will really broaden my perspective on the world and how I interact with it and the institutions and systems around me. So I recently read this hefty book called Political Order and Political Decay. Very interesting, but yeah, that's something fun that I'm preparing for this semester. I'll keep you updated on that. I think it's also an especially interesting course to take when I'm in South Korea. This is such a politically rich country to study in terms of relations with North Korea, which actually leads me onto my fourth point in preparation for university and that is making personal goals beyond just getting the degree. The kind of points that are gonna keep you motivated when it gets hard, a reminder of why you're studying what you're studying, the kind of things you wanna get out of it, like why do you find it interesting? What do you wanna gain? How do you wanna interact with your professors? Are there any things you wanna ask them or bring up that might not be on the syllabus? that just for personal interests you want to discuss. And going along with that, I've been trying to familiarize myself with the syllabus for this term, just to kind of have like a roadmap in my head of where we're starting and where we're going. And then finally, number five is routine. Just thinking about what is the ideal routine I want to have? I now know all my class times. I feel like I know myself well enough to know that things like yoga, meditation, exercise, really contribute to me functioning as a good human. I, I know that social life is important to me. Exploration, if I can do that, is also amazing. So before I get bogged down with too much to do, how do I envision an ideal day in Jade's life in the next term? And then using systems like Notion to track how I'm able to put in that routine. For example, if I know that I function best in the morning, how can I make myself accountable to going to bed early, which is a setup of the morning routine. If I know I wanna feel really healthy and active, how can I already put into my day time for good cooking, time for meal prepping, planning my meals in advance. I'm still very obsessed with my blue light glasses as well. <laughs> They're just so cute. They make me want to do work even when it gets dark really early. So yes, this is how I'm preparing for my semester. As I say, I'm just a little bit generally nervous. There's a lot of work coming up as there always is in university and I've got some really exciting projects I've been working on which are coming into fruition in the next six months or so. So I feel like I'm here and I can see in six months where I wanna be with all these things. And then there's this time in between and I'm like, how am I gonna fill it? How am I gonna do it all? <laughs> but that's exciting. Super grateful to be here, especially during such a tough time in the world. It's an incredible privilege to even be able to plan half the things that I'd like to do this semester. Whatever your university or school or work plans look like in the next few months, I am sending you love. You're doing amazing. Please take care of your mental health and have a good time. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me how you're preparing for university and have a good day. Bye.